in this layout, I'm going to be using sequins to make a slightly different layout than something I've ever attempted before. This is for the UK Scrap Addict April theme of sequins and glitter. And so here you can see I've actually taken a 12 by 12 page protector. It's quite a nice thick sturdy one. And I've got a white Stabilo all pencil that will draw on anything. And I'm just marking out, trying to draw out a eight by eight square in the center of the page protector. And because of the pencil that I'm using, it will just wash off afterwards. And the idea is that I'm going to create my own pocket. So I'm going to sew along these white lines that I'm drawing. Um, I've never attempted this before. I'm not great with my sewing machine. So I've got an old needle in it that I use for paper. So I'm just using that same needle for plastic. I've put the machine on the longest straight stitch possible. And I just take it very, very slowly. And it actually fed a lot easier into the machine than I thought. I was worried that the two layers would slip apart, but they didn't. So I just take it nice and slow. I try and follow the line as straight as I can. And when I get to the corners, I make sure that my needle, my machine actually will keep the needle down when I stop. So I make sure that that button is pressed and then I can turn the 90 degree corner. And I'm actually just sewing the three sides to begin with. So the two sides and the bottom, I'm leaving the top empty. And you'll see why in a minute. So I just go along again very slowly along the bottom, turn it 90 degrees and finish the last side up along it. I'm just using some cheap white thread. I thought white was as good a color as any. And you could use black. Um, it is visible, obviously, but it kind of just is, becomes part of the design. Like I said, I've never tried sewing on page protectors before, and it was actually really fun to do and something that I definitely want to do again in the future. Um, it did snag at one point here, so I'm just re-threading my needle and finishing off the last little bit. Like I said, I'm really not an expert by any means with the sewing machine. I only really use it for scrapbooking. Um, the occasional I've tried the old quilt, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing with my sewing machine, but I thought I'd show you me using the sewing machine and proof that if I can do it, anybody can do it. You could also use a fuse tool if you're lucky enough to have a fuse tool. That would also be a good way of creating this pocket in the middle of the layout. So now I think I've finished sewing those first three sides. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a layout that's going to slip down in the middle. So it actually, when I measured it, it actually turned out to be slightly smaller than eight by eight. So I do suggest you measure what you're inside your sewing and you probably want it at least a quarter of an inch smaller. I think mine ended up at about seven and three quarter inches. And now because this month's theme is glitter as well as sequins, I've got some really nice pale gold glitter card and that's from the Chamel box of crayons paper pad. And what I'm actually having to create is a double sided layout. So once this is in the page protector, I will not be able to get it out. And so you do actually end up making two layouts, one on each side. And you can see here that I'm just checking that they fit. And that's the general idea. It's going to go in there and then it will get sewn along the top. So it will be completely sealed inside the page protector. Thus, you need to make both sides and two layouts at the same time. Um, I want to make this part of the layout pretty simple. I have got some roughly four by six photographs going on it. And because you're not going to be able to take it out, I store all of my layouts chronologically. So I chose two photographs taken at the same event at a similar time so that I knew that I wouldn't end up like if I chose something with a few weeks or months apart, I wouldn't be, they wouldn't fit into how I store my layout. So that's something to bear in mind as well. So as you can see, my photographs do take up the majority of the page. So now I'm just going ahead and creating my little 
seven and three quarter square layout. So I'm matting my photograph in a sort of turquoisey color. I've gone for, as well as the gold theme, I've gone for pale blues, pale yellows and pale pinks on this particular, these two page layouts actually. So I do just then glue it on. And you can see that by the time I've added my title, there isn't lots of room for embellishment, but I don't think it actually needs it because we almost feel like this layout is just going to be quite simple and plain. So my title is probably a bit strange, but it is actually called R&B. Um, it's quite a long story, but it was basically a meetup at a beach with lots and lots of golden retrievers that are related to our golden retriever. Um, we didn't end up having an amazing photograph. I think there were like 13 or 15 dogs that turned up all together, but you can imagine it was quite chaotic. And so this photograph was one of the better ones with our dog is in the foreground. So now I'm just stamping the date on and adding a few die cuts and embellishments in the colour scheme that I want to go for, but I'm keeping it very, very simple. The letters that I've used are actually black glitter letters, just because I thought that would be good in keeping. So you've got the gold glitter card and the black glitter title, and now I'm making the reverse side, so the second seven and three quarter inch square layout but again it's quite a big photograph and this time I'm I've got a blue and pink sort of watercolory chevron effect and white paper and I'm matting it in a ombre yellow effect and I've gone for these gold thickers they're foam thickers and the title goldies and here you can see some more golden retrievers playing on the beach and I was thinking about using this flowered piece of paper, but I just didn't like the edges. And so I decided I want this photograph slightly central, so it is slightly different. I do think about fussy cutting some flowers. I still, these papers that I'm using are from a collection by Heidi Swap, and there's a lot of really, really pretty florals. But in the end, I just didn't really think they worked with the beach theme. So I've used this dog sticker and some other little die cuts. That dog is from the Chamel box of crayons paper pad again. And I know it's not a golden retriever, but it's dog themed and it's going to be the closest thing if I wanted to use it. I'm going to use it on a dog layout. Now I'm just adding some journaling about where we were and what it was that we were meeting up for. And I went wrong and spelt the name of the beach wrong. So I decided maybe it would be all right. And then I decided it was annoying me too much. So I covered it up with a word sticker and continued on a new line. And now you can see I am placing it inside the layout. So it's you've actually got the double sided layout. And you can see now magically I've sewn the top of it. So that pocket is now sealed and you can't get in. I've also sewn the three long sides and bottom of the layout that's purely for aesthetic reasons so I've gone ahead and done that and now I've got these really pretty sequins in my color scheme they're shell sequins and I'm just trying to stuff them into the square pocket that has been created around the layout so you can see there I'm just pushing them all in and I'm using my ruler just to try and push them down but I needn't have worried too much I've never done anything like this before so I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out um, I then decide to put some round sequins in the layout in these like pastel-y there's some pa like pearlescent white ones and some peachy pink ones and some two different like beigey yellow colors and I just thought that it just filled up this square pocket a bit more and at first I was worried that they weren't going to mix in but by the time I've just handled it and photographed the layout it actually worked really well so I go ahead once they're all in it was slightly tricky I just get them all in and then I sew along the top of the layout to seal all of my sequins in and that's basically my layout finished. So you can see then I end up with a transparent 
page pocket around my layouts, double sided, and I think it's, it's quite a different layout. I've never done anything like this before, and I think it will look very fun in my layouts. Thank you for watching. I'll leave you with some close ups. Bye!